Hello, in this video, I am going to show you the chip class. And the chip class is great for providing some compact information, you know, using elements such as text and widgets. And it's, I think it's great just to provide a little bit of information next to some other widgets. There are other chips as well that you can, you can have input chips, which allows you to, you know, basically do some sort of input. You can have choice chips, filter chips, and action chips. I'm going to provide the link to the documentation for all of the chip stuff so you can check that out. But this video will cover the foundations. So we're going to add a child. We're going to put chip. And in here, we need to have, we need to specify a label. If I add a label, it's, we can just put some text here. It's any sort of widget, but I'm going to put text. And I'm going to say, for on, who's saying, which is my name. And as you can see, it's appeared, and that's all the chip styling by you know the built in chip style. Clicking it doesn't do anything, that's not really the purpose of a chip. And we can also put an avatar, and the avatar just do circle avatar. And in here, we'll put a child, and the child we could put you no know, text. So let's put some text in here. Let's put, I'm just gonna put the number three. You can put whatever you want and let's save that and let's see what we get. Save that, as you can see, this little thing, it's almost like, you know, maybe this contact has three numbers or three notifications. So you can probably start seeing the benefit of using the chip. It's got some nice built-in styling. You can modify for the circle avatar, the radius, the background color, if you wanna add a background image, all of that cool stuff and I recommend add an extra task experimenting with that instead of adding a child like that you could add an icon so you could add an icon icon start let's do something to do with an account And there we go, we have an account in there. And obviously you can modify the background color. It's just getting this sort of default primary swatch that I am using right here. This is actually from something that I was doing previously, so I can get rid of that. And also in the chip, you can again mess around with the background color padding. You can have some other you know, icon colors as well. You can have a delete icon, which essentially will have a separate icon and when clicked, it will trigger this event. That's what I want you to try and do as an extra task. If you've been watching any of the other videos on buttons or anything really, you're probably very familiar with it and you'll you know, get through it with ease. If not, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I will help you. Also, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.